Hey chickies, here at Oh My Gosh Polish, mistakes will be made. As per usual, it'll be loads of fun, so subscribe now. <laughs> now let's get into today's nail art. Today we are doing pointer slash index accent nail. Now the reason for this is uh, Pop Sugar did a uh, an article recently about the New York Fashion Week fashion show from Tibby. Now Jin Soon, who's an amazing nail artist, uh, actually decided instead of uh, going for an accent nail on the ring finger or the middle nail or even the pinky, that it was now going to be the pointer nail. And I love that idea because I've never really been a massive, uh, especially ring finger nail, which I think is probably the most popular accent nail. Uh, I tend to go more for the middle nail but and I really like the idea of the pointer nail or the index nail so uh, that's why we're doing that. So a shout out to Jin Soon and Tibby for doing this. It was really good I think. It's fabulous. So anyway let's get into it. I really hope you like it. Now the polishes I'm using today are both from Deco Miami, the uh, new natural sort of cafe, it's more of a coffee colour really, uh, called Cafe Con Lesh, and then the beautiful baby blue which is called Male Tears which I've used previously, I love that colour. Now I'm going to go ahead and do two thin coats of each colour, the, uh, the cafe or coffee kind of colour is on all three nails, the middle, the ring finger and the little finger or pinky as some people like to call it. And then the index nail is the only one that's getting that gorgeous baby blue. Two thin coats. And yes, I am giving you a nail cleanup pawn. Those of you who don't enjoy them, please skip ahead. Enjoy. Next I'm going to add a coat of Sesh Feed on all of my nails. Not really necessary at this stage on the blue nail but you know I was there so I did it. Uh, th this is the only th the other thing that I'm putting on the coffee coloured nails. That's all they need. They're not getting any other stuff. Now these are the dotting tools, tool, tool, tools, dotting tools I'll be using. Uh, the teeny tiny uh, one is D1 from Picture Polish and the one with the kind of crooked end which uh, this is my favourite dotting tool of ever. It's just my favourite. I got it from a shop um, in Australia. They sent it to me. Uh, it's called the Nail Art Shop Nail Shop Australia. I will put links in the description box down below as per usual but this is my favourite one and it's in size at zero. For the little dots from for the leopard print I'm going to be mixing the two polishes together and doing like marbled dot type things. This one I'm not 100% on board with. I do ordinarily love marble dots but I believe that I made a mistake and mixed the colours a little too much and so when they went on the nail they weren't as mixed or as, as unmixed as I wanted them to be. So it doesn't really stand out that they're mixed. Do you, know, do you understand what I mean? Anyway, oh, sorry. no biggie, no biggie. It's not really that big of a deal but anyway, I was a little bit disappointed in myself <laughs> but not enough to start it again. <laughs> Anyway, so for the black uh, edges around the leopard print, which actually makes it into leopard print, if you don't do this it's not going to look like leopard print, I'm using black acrylic craft paint. The reason I use that is that I know for absolute sure it's not going to smudge. Absolute sure, like without an actual doubt. As you can see I'm just doing these little half C kind of wiggly sort of things around each one of those splotches. Once you've done all of your little half C's around just blotches it's then time to uh, add a little bit more detail and to do that I'm using the teeniest tiniest dotting tool and we're just going to make uh, some random squiggly lines here and there uh, in, and in and around and in between each of those little splotchy leopard prints or I could stop calling them splotches now they're actual leopard prints. Now 
And once your design is completely dry and if you're using acrylic craft paint like me, it will take absolutely no time at all and you can go ahead and seal it all in with your favourite top coat. Of course, I'm using Sesh Fit as per usual. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. It's quick, it's easy, and I just absolutely adored how it came out. Now, is the index slash pointer nail going to be your new accent nail? Or what is your favorite accent nail? Do you, is it the middle nail? Is it the pinky? Is it the ring finger nail? I will put a poll up there and we can all find out. Might that be good? Be very informative. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Oh, and don't forget to go and watch my previous video. And please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, subscribe. It's free. I'm going now. Bye.